Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. Apparently, Keir Starmer was, and it was described as, incandescent with rage, which for Keir Starmer was probably like, because that's about as much emotion as he can manage, but you know. Uh, he said he was incandescent with rage, and what are they doing to her? Blah, 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 blah. And he was there, and he was he was up in arms. Uh, because what was happening was that his wife, who likes to have her frocks bought by other men rather than her husband, uh, was sent to the London Fashion Show, uh, London Fashion Week that's going on. Uh, and it was all the aides, his aides had said, no, get down there, do this, do this, Victoria. And this was like Victoria's secret, wasn't it? Um, because she went to this thing, uh, London Fashion Week, at the time it has been announced that £20,000 worth of dresses had been bought for her by Lord Ali so that he could get uh, a pass into number 10. Allegedly. Got to cover myself. But we all know it's probably true. Or at least it's possibly true. Or at least it's probably possibly true. Etc. But he didn't like this. You he, Even he picked up that the optics of this would be pretty bad. He was going, what, what's going on? What are these people doing? Well, you're controlling them, mate. First of all, you're controlling them. And secondly, you're the one happily snaffling everything that you can possibly get. You're like one of those little dictators. The people are rising. You're fleeing the palace. And as you go, you're grabbing everything you can get and shoving it in your pockets. That's what you like, Starmer. You're a greedy, grasping bastard. And it doesn't matter to anyone what happens to your wife. You've brought this on yourself. And if she wants to sit there and let foreigners buy her clothes, why shouldn't she? After all, you've snuffled enough as well, you pig. All the £100,000 worth of freebies and you're moaning. How dare you? But anyway, um, all the journalists now are thinking it's open season on the Starmers. Um, you know, when they won and they went in, it was, oh, it's Labour's in, oh, and they were untouchable. They were the godlike beings that have descended from the skies to rule Britain in a wonderful socialist paradise. And within a few weeks, all the mainstream press, even now, Labour-supporting press are coming out and going, oh my God, what the hell have we done? What are these people? And they've seen them for the pure shits that they truly are. And now, like I say, when you get Dan Hodges, who's as bloody left-wing and socialist as you like, coming out and being critical of Starmer and Mrs. Starmer, you know, the greedy fecker and the greedy fecker's wife, um, you know, you know the gig's up, isn't it? It's not going to happen. Um, now, they, what is it? What's going on? No one is cutting them any slack anymore. And, of course, we had this, you had it to the... Uh, the grey situation with the grey lady down. Um, and it's just a joke. The whole the whole edifice is going to collapse and it's going to be spectacular and it's going to be quick. I think now they must know it's over. They must know. They're going in, they're going into their conference uh, next week, week after. It's, it's soon, so next week, week after. They're going into their conference and they're walking in, Starmer's, Walking in knowing they may not be walking out. There are motions. There are rumours. There are, well, I was going to say whispers, but not even whispers anymore. They're outright saying it. Time to change. Old uh, Ange, the old growler, sitting there smiling. She looks a bit smug. Did you see her yesterday? Grins. What does she know? I suspect that there is going to be hell to pay. Now, Victoria Starmer, not elected, no power, no official position. Um, she can do what she likes. Free agent. So long as she isn't benefiting from the taxpayer. Uh, insofar as, okay, she has to live with Starmer, and so she gets the free use of the house. But that would apply to anyone's spouse. So I'll, I'll let that one pass. But outside of that, so long as she's not benefiting one iota, from the taxpayer, then her business is her own. She is a private citizen. But him, no, he must be under the microscope at all times. But, you know, she's never given an interview. She's never said anything. She's never campaigned. She stood by her husband as he's campaigned, like a dutiful and good wife should. Happy with that. But it's him. So she can, Lord Ali can buy her anything he likes. I wonder if it's only Lord Ali. I bet they're all buying her stuff. According to the rumours, let's just say that she'd be glad of 
uh, other people buying her frocks because apparently, oh, I can't talk about it. But you know what I can't talk about. Oh, it's so annoying. One day. Anyway, so yeah, there we are. So he's really mad that people don't like him anymore. Well, how many people is he going to start locking up now? You know, going to open up the gulags, are you? Bad, isn't it? Not long. Soon be gone. I can't wait. Thanks a lot. We'll talk about this later because there's bound to be more on it. Bye.